What is up, YouTube? Today, we are doing something very, 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 very special. All right, now we're throwing it back a little bit. I'm playing my homeboy, Coogs. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys that follow me follow Coogs because a lot of you guys found out about me from Coogs. So I'm very thankful for him for that. Just like Fuzzy, Coogs has helped put me on, helped get me started on YouTube, and obviously it's paid off well. So shout out to my man, Coogs. Now, what you guys need to do, if you guys want a $50 PSN code you need to make sure you are sub to this channel and you are sub to Coog's channel One of us is going to be giving away a $50 PSN code regardless of who wins if I win Coog's is going to be giving one of you guys in this channel a Random $50 PSN code so make sure you are subbed and make sure you leave a comment below and make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys want to win that 50 PSN code. Now the same works if Coogs beats me, I'm going to buy one of his random subs a $50 PSN code. So make sure you're getting both sides of that. Make sure you're subbed to both of us, alright? Leave a thumbs up on both videos, leave a comment on both videos, show some love. Now Coogs is one of my closest homies in this community. We have grown really close over the last year. I'm not even sure how it started, how our relationship even grew so quickly, but it's been cool. He's definitely a close homie. He's supposed to be TwitchCon roommates unfortunately I don't think TwitchCon is gonna be happening but hopefully we could do something soon but all that is besides the point because today he is the enemy we're gonna be trying to bash his head in because you guys seen what he did to me in that thousand dollar series in ESL I don't even want to talk about it because you know it still hits deep still hits deep but it's a new game it's a new year we're in first right now we got a reputation to maintain we got to get this dub against Coogs but his links are in the description below you guys got to make sure to show him some love he's an awesome streamer he's an awesome youtuber I'm sure all of you guys already know but if you don't make sure to go check him out all right let's go over the team we are going to be using in this $50 PSN wager now our squad today is going to consist of Mike Trout batting leadoff Mickey Mantle batting second Ryan Sandberg batting third Willie Stargell batting 4th, Gary Sheffield batting 5th, Cody Bellinger batting 6th, Craig Biggio batting 7th, and Francisco Lindor batting 8th. Now we got Pete Alonso, Jason Giambi, Carlos Santana, Christian Yelich, and Mookie Betts on our bench. If you look at Jason Giambi's stats, I've been going crazy with them. He's batting 750, he has 2 tanks, 5 jacks, he's been doing alright, so I can't wait to get him up off the bench. And of course, we are starting our boy Kluber, we got to. We got to start Kluber. And I'm definitely going to have Shohei Otani warming up. And same with Blake Snell. Just have that righty-lefty combination. But if he's seeing Kluber too well, I'm going to put in Shohei to try to gas him up with 101. Now, we're going to be playing on Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, a 9 inning. So this will be a good game. You guys, make sure to show some love. Make sure to hit subscribe if you guys have not yet. Make sure to leave thumbs up on this video if you guys enjoy it. And make sure to leave a comment below and either show some love or say anything. But that's how you'll be eligible to win that $50 PSN, all right? Make sure to do that, you guys. Don't cheat yourselves. Okay, we're sending the challenge to my boy Coogs right now. All-star, all-star. Off, off. And that should be all good. Let's send it over right now. Now remember guys, this is post patch. So these pitch beats are gonna be looking crazy. You guys are gonna be probably confused on why the pitch speeds look so crazy while we're late on a lot of these pitches, but that's just how the game is now. We're gonna have to become accustomed to it. Okay, let's go. We gotta use our boy Kluver. I don't know how often Kooks has seen this Kluver, so I think he's gonna I think he's in for a treat. This Kluber is absolutely nasty on Hall of Fame. I think he's one of the best pitchers that we've ever seen in this game. Let's see what team my boy Coogs is coming with. He's got Kluber too. I knew I shouldn't have talked my shit. Craig Biggio, Mike Trout, Mickey Mantle, Pete Alonso, Joey Gallo, Gleyber Torres, Cody Bellinger, Ryan Saber. We have a pretty similar team. He's not using Gary Sheffield. He's using Gallo. And he's not using Willie Stargell. He's using Pete Alonso. So let's see what's up, man. What's his record? Oh, he has started playing ranked seasons. He's 23 and two. Okay, we're 62 and four. Obviously our record's a little better, but we're just gonna have to see. Good luck to my boy Coogs. I have a little bit of PTSD from the last time I played him. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. That's a good start. We get a strikeout on four pitches. There we go, baby, one out. Let's see if we can get Trout out. There we go, we got that sinker. Like I said, you guys, it's gonna be hard to time that up. There's gonna be a lot of very late swings that you guys are gonna see. There we go. Okay, we're gonna try to throw it again. We're gonna keep him on us on that. Oh! Let's go, baby. 
Two strikeouts in a row. We got two strikeouts on two batters. All right, we got to face Mickey Mantle now. This is sometimes dangerous. Good pitch. All right, let's try to get him looking on the sinker. Either looking or swinging, but we want an out on this pitch. There we go, baby. We strike out the side with Kluber. Let's get it going. That is the best start we could have had. Every other game we played in the $1,000 series, I think I gave up like four runs every single freaking inning. All right, let's see what Trout's got. Now, as you guys can see, I've switched to white PCI. I've tried a bunch of different things. This is what we're working with now. And then the very first pitch, we get a girly okay. Is that gonna leave the ballpark? Oh, please. <laughs> we go up one nothing immediately. First swing with Trout. That's the start you want. You wanna get, you wanna strike out the side. You want, you want to come out swinging. That is absolutely amazing that we were able to start it off like that. Let's keep it going, baby. Come on. Good at bats. Ooh, we made good contact on that, but we're down an 0-2 count. I'll press start so that thing can get out of your guys' way so you guys can actually see the count. Good pitch. Very good pitch. Those pitches are hard to lay off. We actually like got our PCI pretty near that considering I was completely fooled. So we still had like a good swing on it, but we just got under it. All right, Ryan, my newest three batter. I switched him and Gary Sheffield because Gary Sheffield kept grounding into double plays. Now I want to be patient and work Corey Kluber's pitch count because I want my Corey Kluber to be more efficient than his, obviously. Let's go, we get a single right up the middle with my boy Ryan Sandberg. Now, you guys don't understand how hard it is to hit in this game. If I go up three nothing this inning, I'm gonna feel comfortable, man. And I got my hottest hitter up right now, my boy Willie Stargell. He has been absolutely insane for me. Three one, we're gonna go ahead and take here. I wanna make him earn this strike. Okay, he earned it. Let's go Willie. That was just a phenomenal pitch. That froze the hell out of me. That's the problem with these fast pitch speeds, man, is it's so easy to get fooled and just flail. Ooh, and that's a nice hit. We get a good squared up hit. We got him in on first and second with two outs. Let's see if we can get him home. We got our boy Bellinger up. Let's get some clutch stuff going. No matter what happens, we had a good inning this inning. Oh my lord. You guys, it is so hard. It is so hard to play on Hall of Fame. You guys have no idea. It's actually embarrassing how hard it is. But we take a 1-0 lead. We get a lot of pitches thrown by Kluber. We can't ask for much more than that. All we got to make sure is that we keep pitching as well as we can because we know if we dot with Kluber, we're not going to give up many runs. The most important part about this is I just need to get you guys that damn PSN code, man. That is an absolute dot. You love to see it. That's three batters. I mean, that's four batters, four strikeouts with Kluber so far. That's the type of pitcher Kluber is going to be this year. Ooh, that is just a good eye on his part, man. I thought I dotted that perfectly. Let's try to get him with this sinker up high and in. And we absolutely dot him. That's five pitchers, five strikeouts with Kluber. Let's see if we can keep it going, man. This is insane. Just absolutely dealing. What's funny, you guys, is I talked to Coogs on the phone last night, and we were talking about how we were playing the night before, and I was like, uh, he was talking about how fast the pitch speeds were, and he was facing a bunch of guys that were tough. And I said, did you face Corey Kluber yet? And he was like, no, not yet. And I was like, dude, wait till you face that dude. Because you are going to be surprised how nasty he is. We get six strikeouts in six batters. We've struck out the side twice. Still hitless. Let's put on a pitching clinic right now. Coogs just texted me and he said, bro, this is impossible. <laughs> That's how I know he's never faced him before. But I've been facing this card nonstop. So I know how hard he is. Ah, would have loved to pull that fair. Now, no matter what, even if Francisco Lindor gets out, we don't have to lead off with our pitcher next inning. You know what? With Kluber, he, since he's at 26 pitches, I'm just going to take every single pitch with Kluber. I don't want to risk like a one pitch pop out and letting his pitch count be really good. I just want to keep it going, get his pitch count as high as I possibly can because I don't want Kluber in this whole game, man. He's just nasty. All right, that... 
That's how you know this game is pitchers friendly when I was mad that I got a first pitch ground out. I wanted to see how long the strikeout streak could go. <laughs> I was like, damn. But honestly, I wouldn't mind, now that that happened, I wouldn't mind him doing that two more times and keeping my pitch count below 35. Just so I know he can be in for the rest of the game. There's no way he touches the slurve. I knew it. He's selling out on that sinker, man. There's no way to touch the slurve in that case. Oh my lord, what a hit. What a hit. He just went deep off the slurve after I said he wouldn't. What a hit by Ryan Sandberg. Oh my lord. Props to Kooks for that one, man. My, oh my. There goes the no-hitter. There goes the perfect game. There goes the shutout. Rip the dream, man. Rip the dream. Uh oh I hope he's not starting to time up that sinker. Wait till he faces Chapman, by the way. Oh, he's in for a surprise, brothers. He is making some good hits now. Now I'm getting nervous. I can't have him timing stuff up now, man. That, that can't start happening. That's a dot. Oh, wow. He actually made contact with it. I did not think he was going to make contact with that. But we get out of that inning. That was a sticky inning. He had a way better inning than he did the first couple. So he's starting to see him a little bit. I might have to switch it up. All right. We got to go back to the patient at-bats. Patient at-bats. We got to get that run back no matter what it costs. And we did the exact opposite. We swung at a pitch right after I said that. There wasn't even a strike in the count yet. That's just irresponsible. There we go. That's how you know this game's hard when I get excited about me taking a ball. Oh no, you guys. You guys. <laughs> that ball needs to be murdered. That ball needs to be murdered and I messed up. I was good timing on it, but I just messed up my PCI. All right, he's got some sluggers coming up. Let's see what we can do. Wow, he is just amazing hitting right now. We throw him out at first. <laughs> we threw him out at first. No hit for you, sir. That is an amazing pitch. That is an absolutely amazing pitch. We have gotten some strikeouts this game, you guys. There we go. We get the fly out. A nice one, two, three inning again, technically. I mean, he got a hit, but it's not gonna count because we threw him out at first. So we get another one, two, three inning. Let's get a run, at least one run. This game is flying by though. Willie Stargell with the good squared up line out. Okay, that sucks. I guess that makes us even for the Pete Alonzo one. Let's go. We're gonna take until strike. I'm putting my controller down because I usually mess up in this situation. I just swing. Of course, that's what happens. Every time I put my controller down, it's a fastball or a sinker right down the middle. Oh my god, this game is impossible, bro. This game is absolutely impossible. What do you do there? Somebody tell me what I do there. What are you supposed to do when somebody puts a slurve in that spot? Especially after he's throwing 150 mile per hour sinker balls. God, you guys, this is gonna come down. This is gonna be whoever scores two first, I think. Come on, Willie. a boy. Let's go. That's one out. We get the out to lead off the inning. We, we gotta just keep getting outs, man. We gotta keep getting outs. All right, can we get one run? One, please? Jesus. You guys, tell me how I scored on the very first swing of this game. And I probably haven't even had a hit since that first inning. This is insane. I'm getting a lot of good swings, too. That's what sucks. Oh, Lindor. Let's go, baby. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Now what do I do? I have Kluber up. What do I do now? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do I risk it all here? I can't, you guys. I can't. I gotta keep Kluber in. I gotta keep Kluber in. There we go, we get him over. That's a good bunt, that's a good bunt. Now a single scores him, that's all that matters. That's all that matters is a single for sure scores him. Let's go, Trout. 
Trout, let's go, baby. RBI single up the middle. That is so huge. We get to keep Kluber in, and we still score the run. That is how you play baseball, baby. Oh, my God. I got to crush that ball, you guys. Man, I cannot get a hit with Mantle to save my life. All right, we get the lead back. We're up two to one. Let's go, baby. That is huge. Let's go cut her up and in. Try to get over with the strike. And we throw a cutter right down the middle. As soon as we get that run back, we give it up. What a swing by Coogs, man. God, that is so unfortunate, man. That is what we could not do there. That is absolutely what we could not do there. How the hell did he hit that that far? Oh, I wish he... Tr Jeez, look at that arm! Are you kidding me? That should not be okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Clutch up. He's got Gallo up. We gotta bring in Chapman here. We gotta bring in Chapman here. Let's go, baby. We strand the runner at second. He had to be on second with no outs, and we strand it. All right, so it's a tie game. I'm thankful that it's only tied. Let's go. Let's get that run back now. That's all we gotta do. Good pitch, man. Look at how perfect of a pitch that is. How am I supposed to hit that? It's you can't you can't pull that. You can't take that because it's strike three. If you swing, that's what happens. It's just crazy. Oh no, that is not what you want to happen there, man. That is just not what you want to happen. Oh no, we cannot walk him here. There we go, baby. Way to make your pitch. Let's go. Wow. That was impressive, actually. That was actually an impressive swing. We get the out on 102 mile power fastball. Let's see what he does with Kluber now. I'm curious to see what happens. I'd almost rather have him take him out. Oh, he did. And I was wrong. I don't. I'm not happy he took him out. If we get the out here, though, if we get the out here, we are happy. We are very happy if we get the out here, but if we don't, it's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be tough. We need the out. We need the out bat. Good eye. All right, he's got Biggio up. I would almost, I'm almost okay with this because Glaber's not fast. So, I mean, I trust, um, let me just focus before I say anything. That's a phenomenal pitch. Oh my God, that was an unfair pitch. And we dot him up with 102. Let's go, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you get out of a jam. As I was saying, I trust I trust myself pitching to Craig Biggio with a righty more than I trust myself facing, what's his, uh, more than I trust myself facing Willie Stargell and not giving up a home run. Now against Chapman, we're putting in Mookie Betts. We're gonna try to get a lead off single here. I'd rather face Chapman than Kluber, you guys. Oh! Oh no. Oh, let's go Mookie. Let's go Mookie. Perfect, perfect off Chapman's slider. That's how you do it. That's how you set a fucking statement, baby. Let's go, Mookie. Off the bench with the tank. I love it. All right. He's got Trout, Mano, and Alonzo. No home runs, man. No home runs. <laughs> we blew it. We absolutely blew it. As soon as I walked him, I knew it, man. As soon as I walked him, I knew what was going to happen. That is just the most unfortunate situation ever. It's too bad. We got to get that run back now. Huge swing by him. That's a just a great swing on his part. I hung that, I walked Trout to lead off the inning, put the go ahead run at the plate, and then hung a slider like that. It's just disappointing. You cannot do that in a game where it's this hard to hit. We gotta keep this lead at one, man. The first lead I give up all game. Hurry up. There we go, we turn a double play, that's huge. That is very huge. 
especially off of Gallo. Oh my lord, how is he hitting that? Well, we're in a deep situation here, boys. We're in a very tough situation here. M messed up bad. Messed up very, very bad. God, those were some dumb pitches, man. I mean, that wasn't a dumb pitch. He just earned that one. Oh no. Wow, and then he squares that one up. Coogs has been hitting amazing this game, honestly. Coogs just, <laughs> he just haunts me, bro. Let's go, we have two innings to get two runs. Let's see if we can do it. It's unfortunate, but blew it, you know? I blew it again. Every time I face Coogs, I blow a lead. Every time I face Coogs, I blow a lead. Actually insane. But with how hard this pitching is, I mean, with how hard it is to hit in this game, you just got to, you know, you, you can't make mistakes. And I made mistakes. I made more mistakes than he did. Scoring two runs is going to be nearly impossible in the ninth inning. It's going to be so hard that you guys have no clue. I should have went Gagne early, man. I should have went Gagne early. Let's go. All right. We're only down two. We got to... We gotta do something, you guys. We got to do something. <sighs> Gary Sheffield never gets on base for me in clutch situations. Oh, but he does right now. Let's go. All right, we got the tying run up. That's all that matters. We have the tying run up. Let's go. Let's do this. Oh my God. Pete Alonso, let's go, baby. Let's go. That's how you clutch it up, baby. Let's keep going. We needed that. We waited on that pitch and we smacked it. Let's go, baby. We're gonna have to figure out our outfield situation after. Get up the middle. Get up the middle, baby, let's go. Come on. Let's end it right here, guys. Let's end it right here. Let's go, Carlos. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We tied the game. We can still keep it going. Now I got to do a lot of double switches right now, man. I got to do a lot of double switches right now. So we're going to... Wait, what? Why can't I... It won't let me switch my catcher. Dude, this is going to suck. It's going to make me have a, a bad catcher. I need to switch Carlos Santana. Oh, this is just terrible. This is terrible. Where's Yelich? You guys, I, I lost. I absolutely lost. We're gonna need strikeouts, man. I have Pete Alonso catching. Let's go, that's huge. A pop out to the shortstop, that's the type of out I need. That's the type of out I needed. I need him to hit it to the outfield, hit it to my shortstop, or hit it to my second base. That's it. Nothing else. Let's go. Keep it up, baby. One more out. Come on. And then we can try to walk it off. Good hit. Oh, Mickey? Why take that route? Okay, he's smart for that. He's smart for that. He knows I have Pete Alonso catching. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be game. Man, I just couldn't get it done with Pete Alonso just... <sighs> God, what an unfortunate ending to all this, man. That is so brutal. Look at this, I just... I was trying to double switch him, man, and they just wouldn't let me. All right, now we need two runs again. God, man. Don't let that inning happen like that. Let's go. Let's go. We get the man on with Trout. Come on. Let's get one more guy on. This would be huge. Let's get some content going for you guys, huh? And Mickey Mantle just grounded it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. And then they get even with us. You just can't make this up, you guys. You honestly can't make this up, man. They do not want me to win this one. It's fine. GG's to Cougs. He's played very well. It's just unfortunate luck, you know? Everything we did, we ended up in a situation where...
that's gonna be a single. Man, I mean, all it had to do was not be a double play, you know? It sucks, but if we hit a home run here, we win it, so. <laughs> GG's, man, GG's. What a, cr that is just the worst ending to a game you could possibly have. But that was a phenomenal game. GG's to Coogs. I'm going to get that $50 PSN code to him. Make sure you guys go spam sub on him. Go spam his comments. Go make it happen. All right, guys? I'll see you guys soon. Peace.